Hi everyone and welcome back to another product review on my channel. Today's video I am going to review Fusions 2022 Valentine's Collection. Now this is not sponsored by Fusion or any distributor so this is something that I saw that I was immediately drawn to. I wanted to showcase this for you in case you were eyeing this up looking at it and hopefully this can give you an idea if this is something that you would want to add into your collection as well. So if this interests you just keep on watching. Okay, so the first color we're going to look at is called Quiver. And Quiver is this gorgeous iridescent pink color gel and it almost looks like there's a bit of gold hues to this as well as some lilac hues and it's almost like a color shifting color gel. Now I am putting it on very thinly. Fusion gels are very pigmented so I want to put it on in a thin layer. Cure for one minute and I will go back in and put a second layer on. As you can see, I'm doing here, and you can tell that it's building the color up a little bit more. And if you want more coverage with this particular color, you can put it on in three thin layers. And again, I wanna stress very thin layers because they are pigmented. This color is kind of a translucent, iridescent, beautiful, soft, girly pink color. I love the gold hues in this color and look how beautiful it is on these three skin tones. When I look at this pink in particular, I get that warm romantic vibe to it. So it's a very soft romantic pink in my opinion. So let's do some color comparisons as always. Neutral 106 paints by Fusion. Ugly Duckling number 187 is kind of in that same family, but there's more white in that gel. And as I'm going through my pink collection of color gels and gel polishes, I don't really have anything quite like this color. So I'm just showing you some colors that might be in that same family for tone and the differences as well. Cause I know some of you like to see the contrast between a colors as well. So yeah, I don't really have anything quite comparable to Quiver, which is kind of nice. It's a very unique color and a calming color. So that's kind of nice around Valentine's if you don't want to wear those bright, heavy reds. This is a really nice alternative. Next, we're going to look at Struck By You, which is a sparkle. So like a glitter gel, but it goes on like a color gel, you guys. It is so pigmented you don't really need to put two thin layers on but you can if you want and I'm finding that it self levels really nicely so you're not gonna get that streaking and I am putting a second layer on just to be consistent and it's it's going on really smooth the glitters are so fine that they're not sticking up so it will go on top of a finished filed nail really nicely I'm actually wearing this color right now like look how stunning this is my my eyes are drawn to this color and I have to say this is, I mean look at this on all three skin tones here, gorgeous. And this color is going to be in a favorites video. I absolutely know it's going to go right next to Spooked that I shared with you guys last week. So here are some of the colors that I do have in my collection. Sassy Squatch by Light Elegance. I was kind of wondering if it was similar, but it's lighter. All of these are kind of in that same fuchsia or magenta pink family, but different Different. So I don't have anything exactly like this, which I love. And look at this, Fusion's Crush. Pair these two up together would look stunning. Next color is called Eros. And this color, don't let this fool you. Don't, I was unsure about this color, but look in the pot, it's that metallic gold. On the swatch stick, you are seeing hues of purple or lavender. When you build it up, it is even like a deeper goldy pink, purpley, lavender wonderfulness. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this one. This one totally, well, I'm speechless. Let's. I, I don't know how to describe this one at all. It is beautiful. It is soft. It will pick up any color you put next to it. So on the swatch stick, you are seeing more 
purple hues and against my skin tone you're seeing more gold hues so really really unique like the first one we saw quiver so here you're seeing the gold and you're also seeing that soft lilac undertones as well this would be a great color to use as a base color and then put a bunch of beautiful stamping on top and as for color comparisons like look next to the gold metallic doesn't compare bitter by fusion doesn't compare and I don't have anything comparable at all some of these colors are similar in tone but definitely not exact And lastly, we have Cupid's Bow, and this is a gorgeous sparkles. It's the consistency of a metal leaf gel, so it's very dense, very pigmented. You do not need two layers with this sparkles at all. I did do two layers just to be consistent, but what I love about metal leaf gels is that as you're brushing from top to bottom, it smooths out and it just becomes this gorgeous gorgeousness. <laughs> is that even a word? <laughs> it is now. So when I looked at this color, I immediately thought of fall. I am seeing a lot of brown and bronze hues in this sparkles, but I'm, I'm getting a fall feel, but also a winter feel as well. So I think this would be great for Valentine's if you don't want red or pink. I think this is a, a great alternative. And look how stunning this is on a really dark skin tone. And I think this paired up with Eros would be a really nice color combination. So you have something that's really soft and subtle and something that's a little bit more vibrant and warm toned and yeah, I want to say more fall toned, but this is a this doesn't have to be just for Valentine's. You can use this all year round, especially in the fall season that's going to be coming up this year. So I love colors that you can that are not just seasonal that you can wear all year round. And look how beautiful this would go with Cheers from Down Under. These two paired up together would look stunning. You Bring the Wine has some similar flecks of glitter that are the same shade and Thunderstruck I think is probably the most comparable but Thunderstruck is a glitter whereas Cupid's Bow has more of that metal leaf consistency. So I thought Indian Summer was going to be a little bit more comparable, but Indian Summer's got more red, and it's not, it's not. Paprika is the same thing. It's just more of a coppery red color. Okay, let's recap this collection. I am blown away. I want to say that I absolutely love the viscosity of these gels. I love that they're very pigmented. Even if they're supposed to go on sheer, they are very pigmented. Put them on in thin layers for a 60 second cure in your LED UV light. I love the variety of colors in this collection. So we have a really beautiful, rich jewel toned magenta pink and we have a gold and a bronze and then a really soft pink that's kind of iridescent like so I I'm so impressed and I have a huge smile on my face when I saw Cheryl do her live video when she released this collection Cheryl from fusion I was excited and I love being excited about a product or a collection that gets released. So I wanted to share this with you. If you guys have any questions or if there's some colors that you want me to compare, comment them down below. If I have the colors, I will put a picture under the community tab. If I don't have the colors, I will let you know. So yeah, tell me what you think of this collection. What are your thoughts? Have you picked this up already? Do you have a favorite color? I'm going to tell you that that my favorite color in this collection is Struck By You. I am wearing Struck By You, no surprise, and Quiver. And I did some stamping on the accent finger and I'll insert some pictures. And I absolutely love this set of nails. Like I think I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time and if I have to do a fill, I might do a fill with the same colors again. <laughs> so all the products used on my set of nails, I do have on my Instagram account at nailcreations underscore by Carrie. You can check that out like for 
the stamping plate, the stamping polish color, and all of that, check out my Instagram because I do post all my work on that platform. So with that being said, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest at Oralite Nails, and on Instagram, as I mentioned, at Nail Creations underscore by Carrie. And that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.